Yeah, what's poppin' you guys? Sizzle here. And I've been realizing a lot of the people I've been playing with didn't have all the settings that I do, or at least all the important ones. So I figured I'd go and make a settings video just so everybody could have nice settings. Uh, display mode doesn't really matter. Uh, if you're on a single display, always go full screen. It'll make it a little bit faster. Uh, windowed is the next best option. Borderless windowed will actually give you a tiny bit more input latency, just the tiniest amount, not enough that it matters, which is why I have it on. Uh, but if you're super conscious of that type of stuff, don't have this on. I think it also uses a bit more of your computer or something to, to process that way. But that one's not too important. Field of view, max it all the way out. 103 is perfect. Uh, render scale. It's always automatic by default. Do not have it on automatic. Set it to custom. Bring it to 100. If your computer's lower end, bring it down from 100. If your computer's struggling to run this game... The, uh, the chances are it's either your graphics quality or this render skill option specifically. Nothing else here really impacts it that much. Uh, for frame rate, always set to custom and put it about 10 FPS over your monitor's refresh rate. So for most modern day computers, the refresh rate is 144 hertz. So put it at 154 FPS, right? If you're at a 60 hertz monitor, set the max FPS to 70 because you don't see a benefit. Believe it or not, the, the FPS are tied very heavily to your monitor's refresh rate. If you don't know what it is, set it to 154. If you're struggling to hit 154, just set it to like 70. And you, you'd rather have consistent FPS than higher FPS. And also you want something that's tied to your monitor's refresh rate. And there still are a good amount of people nowadays with 60 hertz monitors. For example, I think the Steam Deck, the original model has a 60 hertz monitor. Uh, the newer model is a 90 hertz, which would mean you'd set this number to 100. But that's a very rare number. Most people nowadays, 60 hertz or 144. Figure out what you want to do there. Uh, don't turn on V-Sync unless your game has visual problems. Don't turn on triple or reduce buffering unless you have, I don't know, a lot of issues with your game. A very common thing if your game is starting to stutter, turn reduce buffering on for like 10 seconds and then turn it right back off. It fixes most of your buffering. Uh, NVIDIA Reflex, generally, unless you're a streamer or something, where it might matter uh, if, you're, if you're right at the edge of your computer's computation, like I am actually right now on this laptop, uh, have it enabled plus boost. What this does, it gives you less input uh, less input latency by like a noticeable amount at the, while having the trade-off of a tiny bit more CPU or GPU usage. forgot which one. It's one I think it's the GPU, actually, because it's tied to NVIDIA. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, you will not have this option, so don't worry about it. Uh, I have it disabled because I barely hit this FPS number as is. I actually can't have this on. I'm one of the very few edge cases where it doesn't make sense. Uh, graphics quality. I set everything to low. I set the high quality thing. I just have it on default. I've heard from people that had issues in the past to use FSR 2.2, but default works for me. And I specifically have texture quality to medium because there's some parts of some maps that don't show up unless you have texture quality to medium. Uh, so th that's that. Uh, details, I have display performance stats on, show frame rate on, and show network latency on because that shows my frame rate and my FPS. Right, so that's all the video settings uh, done with. And this is just for PC. For console, you shouldn't have to change anything. The defaults are probably fine. Uh, for sound, this will just differ based on what you're using. But the settings I change here are play sound when enemy eliminated and play sound when teammate eliminated. Uh, it's just another way of getting that information. And after having it on for like two games, I've been used to it ever since. I, I turned this on like five months ago and I enjoyed it ever since. Uh, it makes it so you don't have to look in the top right to know if somebody on your team or the enemy just died. Right. Uh, voice chat. Nothing here really matters too much. It's all personal preference for the most part. But I do like having it set to on for group chat, auto join for team, and on for match chat. So that way I automatically join team chat whenever it's available, but I still have group chat when I'm on the main menu. It's, it's very, very convenient. Uh, also max out your voice chat volume and voice chat mic volume, because why not? You know, no, no real downside. Uh, sensitivity can change based on your mouse, uh, based on your DPI, based on even the manufacturing of your mouse or whatever. But for most people, I would recommend 1600 DPI. I guess let me write this down in, in text so people can actually get a visual for it. 1600 DPI, 2.6 or 2.9 sensitivity. This is what many, many people use. Right? It is is a very commonly used thing. This is what you want on your mouse. You need to figure out what your DPI is and see if you can change it up to 1600. Having a higher DPI is better for your mouse. So that's that's also very nice. 
Uh, and yeah, that's that's what I recommend there. But to each their own. I've seen people succeed with many different numbers in this, but I've seen most people that are higher elo have either 2.6, 2.9 with 1600. At least the ones that talk about it. Uh, when it says show friendly outlines, set this to always. It does say this may impact system performance. I really don't know why it says that. I think people have done tests, and this this really it doesn't impact shit. <laughs> so don't don't mess with like you know, just leave it like turn that on. And I also, uh, I guess there's my crosshair if anyone wants it. These are the exact settings. Crosshair, also personal preference. I wouldn't even say this is necessarily the best one. It's just the one I use. Uh, and then the only other thing I do is I actually unbind next weapon and previous weapon. By default, that's set to scroll wheel. I have them turned off. Uh, and this only really affects Torbjorn, I think, as far as I know. And it makes it so you don't accidentally hit the scroll wheel and change to Torb's hammer. And instead, you have to press 1 or 2. Uh, everything else is default, I believe. Then uh, interface, communication, spectates, and replay. I don't really have much change, but I think in communications, I have some uh, toggles that are more specific to TF2. Or at least I used to. I don't know why they're off now. But yeah, all chat I have set to Y, because that's what TF2 uses. Team chat I have set to U, because that's what TF2 uses. I use toggle might mute mic mute with open mic because I found it much easier to speak in game that way uh, and I use V for voice check because that's what TF2 uses <laughs> communication menu I just have it set to the default C you can change other things here so let's say for example instead of voice line up you want to be able to say sorry you just do that and it will it'll actually change it to that in your wheel but I do like the default wheel I have ping and everything set all to the defaults. I have an emote menu set to Z and voice light menu set to X so I can actually get to that stuff. Uh, and then spray is just set to T. Uh, spectate's all the same, replay's all the same, the rest of that's all the same, I haven't changed any of that. Uh, there's also some per hero settings I have changed. I'm gonna go over the essential ones first and then get to the ones that are more personal to me. Uh, first off, for Ash, scroll down, set your relative aim sensitivity to 51.47, which you can do by clicking on here, uh, pressing Control a then typing it in, 51.47. Uh, and what this does is it makes it so when you zoom in, like when you right-click, the sensitivity is the exact same as when you're not scoped in. It makes it a lot easier to aim with her. Uh, same setting with Widowmaker, except set to 37.89, and then Grappling Hook Sensitivity, I don't know where I got this number from, but 40% is what I use, and I found it to be pretty good for actually Grappling Hook, where I, you know, Grappling Hooking, Grapple Hooking to where I'm looking. <laughs> and then Ana also uses the same number as Widow, 37.89, right, and that's, that's all the settings that are most, most essential to change. Uh, also on Lucio, this should already be the case, but make sure if you're in your advanced settings that allow backwards wall ride is set to on. It used to be on off in Overwatch 1, but I think the default is now on, which is great. I'm glad they changed that. Um, and that's in uh, you know, the last one. Here we go. Turn your swift step sensitivity to 100 and turn the toggle healing Ofuda off. This will make it so you can hold down the mouse button to heal people on Kiriko. Uh, and then our final actually like more essential chains is to go onto Reinhardt, go under advanced and where it says charge cancel input set that to all and that is every single change that is necessary that i think everyone should do except for echoes which i also forgot uh turn to hold these flight on basically this will make it so you have to hold left shift to actually continue flying which means you can actually end your flight early and start the cooldown for your next flight faster which can be extremely useful and has been game changing in a lot of fights whenever i do play echo which is very rarely uh anyway back to what i was saying there's some other changes i like to make but are not essential and i'll go over those now so doomfist i change my crosshair to a dot I felt it helped uh, help me aim his shots a little bit better because his, his shots work a little bit differently with his left click than any other hero and I found that dot helps a lot more with that. Uh, Reinhardt's, I also have it set to a dot, but I had it set to a dot with 50% opacity. I think I used to be even as low as 30% opacity. Uh, and that way, you know, you're not focused on your crosshair because you shouldn't be on Ryan. Uh, I have Sojourn, a very common change. Like the change here, those, those other changes are kind of unique to me. Uh, with Sojourn, I don't know why there's a star here, but anyway, I changed primary fire to right click and secondary fire to left click, and this means you left click with your railgun and right click with your kind of spam fire, 
Uh, most high level sojourns I've seen have this setting changed. Most people in general in higher elo have this setting changed for sojourn. It feels a lot more natural because the left click is the thing you actually care about aiming and the right click is more spammy. Uh, when you have these settings on, it's literally just inverted uh, firing. It's really not that bad to get used to. Uh, then we have Life Weaver. Uh, I do the same thing with him. This is more unique to me. Uh, I found it makes more sense to me to right click to heal, left click to shoot. But uh, this is an uncommon change that a lot of people don't make. So I just want to let that be known. This is more specific to me. Uh, but I do like the change and I play with it. Uh, then there's Lucio. I do the same thing as Reinhardt. You actually, common misconception, you don't want to really see your crosshair in Lucio. Yeah, I knew it was 5% on opacity. Let me go back to that with Ryan. I think I changed it to 50% to help with the Ryan mastery courses where aiming his fire strikes was actually kind of important. But now that it's not, I'm sending it back to 5% because you don't need to see your crosshair. You actually shouldn't be looking at your crosshair for Reinhardt or Lucio. Uh, Lucio mainly because his projectiles are so slow that where you're aiming your crosshair will not be where they go. So looking at your crosshair while you're aiming is actually really detrimental to Lucio players. Uh, Reinhardt on the other hand, just because it doesn't matter at all. The focus more on the game. <laughs> uh, and then the last change I like to make is for Mercy. Uh, I do toggle beam connection to on so that, you know, you can... Uh, click one time to continue healing so you don't have to hold left or right click when you're healing someone. An important thing to recognize with this is holding left or right click when you're healing someone will still continue to heal them. It's not like this breaks that. This just makes it so if you let go it'll continue healing them so you maximize your beam uptime. which It's just like a net positive. Uh, and then I happen to use prefer facing target on guardian angel target priority which means uh, when you press left shift to fly to someone, it'll prefer facing the guy you're looking at rather than the guy your beam is connected to. But if you're not looking at anyone, it will still bring you to the beam. That's why you don't do facing target only, because it's nice to have like a, a fallback. If you are healing someone, you should be able to fly to them if you're not looking at anyone else. I, I found it to be really easy to get behind. Uh, and oh yeah, I guess Mercy is the other one where Scroll Wheel matters because Scroll Wheel would swap you to your pistol. Like most characters in this game don't have two weapons, so that's, yeah, it's important. Uh, and that's all the heroes, that's all the change you have to all the heroes. And we're going to go off to gameplay. And if there's anything you get from this video, any single thing you change in this entire video, this is the most important change. Under gameplay, all the way at the bottom, there's a thing called Enable High Precision Mouse Input. For whatever reason, this is off by default. And what this setting turned on does is it uses the tiniest bit more of your computer and it actually reads your mouse inputs more. So like, you actually can aim better for free. When I have this turned off, I lose games in silver. Unironically, I have lost games on a fresh Murph account against people in silver in quick play because I just couldn't aim. It was so off-putting. You turn this back on, I'm back to a master's EPS. It, it's, it's night and day uh then there's also the changes i do to the hud i do 15 percent ability timer ring that's like the ring when you're flying with diva or whatever uh 15 waypoint opacity and respawn icon that's basically saying where the point is and uh i guess your your respawn meter or whatever because you don't need to really see that too bad but you still want it on your screen a lot of the time it can be useful to know where the payload is for example or where the point is if you forgot where it is on the map uh, so you still just have it on or like who owns the point more importantly i guess is a better reason to have it on but yeah that's that's why i have that uh under social career profile to public because I'm, I'm not a little bitch people can just do my stuff uh and then i don't think there's anything special here uh text chat i have everything set to mature because it's funny watching people shit talk me but if you don't like curse words i don't first off i don't know how you got to my channel you should probably not watch any of my other videos but second off, you have friendly available for you, so it'll block out everything for you, so you can be all happy with that. And that's that. Then accessibility, I do reduce camera shake, HUD shake off, which will make it so your HUD doesn't shake. And I think reduce menu movements the same. And I, this isn't something I've always had, but as of recent, mainly to help with YouTube videos, and also because it doesn't really hurt. I set the cursor size to 128, right? So instead of this tiny little thing that you can't even see, you can now see very clearly where my cursor is. It, it just honestly helps uh subtitles i've set to everything not because i actually read the subtitles but purely because i figured it would look nice for youtube i don't think i've ever read a single subtitle and been informed about something that i wasn't able to see or hear uh, i just think it's neat to have down there for the people that might 
not be able to hear stuff. It's just nice for them. Uh, colorblind settings. I use some custom colors to change the colors. It customizes UI colors. I have yellow, green, aqua, and purple. Not because I'm colorblind anyway. I just thought this looked best from all the settings. It gave me the, the warmest feeling with the best overall. And text-to-speech I have off because I, I don't need it. Uh, and if you have hearing problems, you'll still hear me and still hear the game just fine. Yeah. That's that's everything. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I changed. That's that's all like the settings, and that's that's what I use in game. I, I most importantly reminder: change under gameplay settings, enable high precision mouse input. If you change any one setting from this entire video, change that for the love of God. I will. I'll actually go show off real quick. Right. This is me on McCree, just like shooting with it on. I'm gonna go over here so there's actually moving targets. So my aim already isn't that great, but you know, it's decent enough where most of the time my aim's pretty on point, especially with these stationary bots or whatever, where it's very easy to predict where they're going. But if I go to gameplay, I turn this shit off. It's like, you know, I'm not like, I'm not playing this up at all. I'm trying to shoot like normal, but you're noticing I'm missing every third shot that I was just hitting one second ago on the guys with predictable movement. Right, I missed that first shot there that normally doesn't happen. And it's so subtle that you don't really recognize it, but it's it's a big enough difference that it, it will be the difference between you hitting that first or second or third shot and actually finishing the kill. If there's anything you change, please for the love of God change that. I hope the Overwatch devs at some point make it default to have that on. You know, they, they I don't know why it was even off by the time it was off, it doesn't use up that much more of your computer. Even in 2016, the worst computers could easily handle having that setting on if they could run Overwatch at all. Uh, it's, it's just stupid that it's off. And that it's like so hidden and not talked about in the tutorial. But yeah, uh, let me know if you guys found this useful. I probably won't ever have an update guide for this unless there's a new hero that comes out with some particularly bad hero settings, but that really hasn't happened recently. Um, with that being said, hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.